is up everyone, Jossie here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about in-demand jobs for 2022. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more content like this. 2021 has just flown by, at least in my opinion. I think it's a combination of me applying to jobs and interviewing the first few months and then landing a new role, starting it remotely. Then the summer came, and obviously the summer flies by, especially when you live in the Midwest because you cherish every day of summer. Man, I really miss summer. And then of course, looking for an apartment in the New York City metro area, which is exhausting, time consuming, stressful. If you've ever experienced looking for apartment in this crazy New York City, area market it's absolutely insane especially when you aren't located in the area the purpose of this video is to share in-demand roles for 2022 and a lot of them have significant growth beyond 2022 all the way up to like 2030. i know it's the end of the year a lot of you all have resolutions and goals that you want to crush so i figured it makes sense to talk about jobs that you should pursue in 2022 because we don't want to start at the end of January, you want to figure out what you want to do for 2021. My bad, 2022, starting right now. I know some of you all are college students and some of you all are just looking to make a career change. I think this video is really for everyone. Yes, a lot of the roles are tech focused because I'm a software engineer. That's the industry I've been in, but some of them are tech adjacent in the digital space as well. Gardner predicts that IT spending will be four and a half trillion dollars in 2022, which is a five and a half percent growth compared to 2021. The reason being the pandemic, of course, it forced a lot of companies to move their businesses online while also embracing the future of hybrid work. I know a lot of you all have seen maybe TikTok videos, LinkedIn articles talking about this huge boom of online and remote jobs. Since we're in the era of digital transformation, that also plays a huge role into the specific jobs I'm highlighting in this list. Remember, if you do search for like best jobs in 2022, most in-demand jobs for the future, the list is fluid. I picked this list based off of my community, which is primarily tech and lifestyle, along with the focus of the digital transformation that we're currently in. The first job that I wanna talk about is cloud engineering. Cloud engineering have a whopping average salary of $123,000. Money, 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 money. money. Cloud engineers are responsible for managing and organizing a cloud-based system and processes where data is stored. They set up a company's cloud-based architecture through cloud-based services like Azure and Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud. They also manage existing cloud-based services as well. One thing you'll notice with tech jobs is it's not always about creating something new, but a lot of times maintaining a product or service that already exists. Cloud-based engineers have experiences with cloud-based services, like I mentioned earlier, like Azure and AWS. They're also familiar with system operations and have an understanding of databases, programming, and networking. The next Next job that I wanna talk about is data scientists. Data scientists have an average salary of $121,000. Data scientists are analytical data experts who have technical skill sets to gather and analyze large sets of structured and unstructured data and turn that data into meaningful insights. Basically making sense of the messy data from sources like smartphones, social media, emails, and other sets of data that can't easily fit into an Excel database. When I was a computer science major, I took a data mining course and it was one of the most difficult things I had ever done. So kudos to those of you all who are data scientists and pursuing that field. Y'all are real life Jimmy Neutrons. The growth rate for data scientists is 36% through 2026, which is incredibly strong. The skill sets that you need to be a data scientist are of course programming. 
R programming, Python, SQL databases, machine learning, and AI. Next tech job that I'm going to be talking about in this list of in-demand jobs for 2022 is of course software development. The average software developer makes $114 thousand dollars the demand for software developers has been on the rise for a long time and it doesn't show any trends of slowing down anytime soon software development has a job growth rate of 22 percent from 2020 through 2030 which is obviously much faster than your average occupation i know there's some other tech related roles that have much higher job growths but there's such a demand for software developers. Now there are many different types of software developer roles, mobile developers, web developers, front end developers, full stack and back end developers. But usually when you see a job posting that just says software developer, that basically means it's full stack. Software developers are in charge of writing code to solve complex business applications, along with maintaining the code for an application. So software developers are also responsible for installing, designing and testing software. UX designer is the next job that I want to talk about within the tech family, and it's one of the most exciting roles on this list. Also, don't require programming skill sets, which is a plus for those of you all who aren't interested in learning how to code. I currently work as a front end software engineer on a UX team. So my job is a combination of programming and UX design. UX designers have an average salary of $89,000. And according to Iron Hack, UX design is one of the fastest growing fields with a growth rate of 18%. It's no surprise that a UX designer is one of the most in-demand jobs for 2022, considering the fact that there's a massive growth and investment into digital transformation. An ideal UX designer will have experience with Adobe Photoshop. That was the most popular application that the designers I worked with in my previous role used on a daily basis. You also should have some experience with Adobe Illustrator, Adobe XD if you're more product side, like actually designing websites or mobile applications. And of course, Figma as well. If you learn Figma or XD, you'll be able to pretty much design on either or. Also the ability to enhance a user experience. Another really important thing when it comes to being a UX designer, similar to being a software developer, you wanna make sure that you have a portfolio of your work. The fourth in-demand job that has an average salary of $107,000 and is by far the most boring job on the list. Give it up for database manager. Marketing manager is the next job that I want to talk about and it is the first job on this list that isn't necessarily a tech role, but you can say it's tech adjacent. And the reason being is because more companies are creating departments where they have developers working with people in marketing, which only makes sense. Let's say you're running some sort of campaign for a company and you need a website built. Well, I think it's important that the marketing people who are running the end-to-end -end campaign are working with the developers who are actually building the website for this campaign. After working in digital marketing as a front-end software developer, I have an added respect for the marketing world. Branding is everything whether you're a TikTok or instagram trainer or if you're an insurance company trying to become the number one brand in america marketing managers have an average salary of one hundred and thirty six thousand dollars and have a projected growth of 10 percent between 2020 and 2030. marketing managers monitor consumer trends and oversee all aspects of marketing plans for a specific product or service as a marketing manager it is expected to have skill sets that include business management skills creative thinking and problem solving. Social media manager is the last role on this list. And you can say it's tech adjacent because it is still centered around technology. Social media manager was recently listed on a LinkedIn article that was created not too long ago, talking about some of the most in demand and most posted jobs on LinkedIn. Social media managers have an average salary of $52,000. Marketing technology trends like AI, video, automation, and more continue to grow, which is one of the main reasons why social media managers and other digital title roles are some of the most posted jobs on LinkedIn. A social media manager is in charge of an organization's online presence, developing strategy, producing good content, analyzing data, and responsible for the end-to-end -end operations of brands, influencer marketing campaigns. Social media managers have an expected job growth of 10% through 2026, which is pretty good considering that this role didn't even exist before, you know, Twitter became a thing. So that wraps up this video.